Hello and welcome to today's video. I'd like to thank Solbio for actually supporting this channel. And uh, Solbio is a completely natural toilet fluid. It can be also used in the waste tank. It's environmentally friendly as it's made from completely natural ingredients. So if you'd like to know more about this product, there'll be more at the end of the current video and there will be links below. Thank you. Hello and good morning. My name is Bernd and I'm the Nuremberg setup from the company called Hannes Kemper. Initially we are a rental station with uh, stations all over the place in Germany. We've got uh, 10 different locations right now and the first one in Austria as well. And uh, we started a fairly nice project last year when we decided to move uh, further on. Instead of doing only the rental, we also do um, retailing. So we started the project um, to retail brand new cars. There was a setup of uh, some people um, from our company. They were in the task force um, and it took us almost a year to design all the interior of this car and this is the outcome. So we are happy to, um, to show you here on the CMT in Stuttgart the first prototype um, which is now on retail. Um, we work together with um, a, a manufacturer in Slovenia and that company is called Robeta. They're also here exhibiting and Robeta is well known really for um, premium class manufacturing and um, if you see, I'm going to show you some of the details, um, if you see what we have done here you will understand that um, the Robeta production and the Hannes Kemper design is a quite well done symbiosis. So that's how it just looked rather like a Robeta. So anyway, please. Yeah. <laughs> uh. So what have we done in this car? Um, here we uh, we are showing you today the Große Hannes, so the long version of our camper. Um, the long version means it is based on Citroen. Uh, the engine is 165 horsepower, um, um, and we have done. On the on the bed side we started with um, a lounge function so you can give your back a proper support um, by lifting the mattress on this side as well as on the other side so regardless in which direction you want to read your book and drink your wine you will have back support um, however you want it we have done Armaflex, um, we've used the Armaflex material um, to give it a, a nice cozy look and to make this car um, ready to go also in winter temperatures. Um, on the um, compartment side we've decided to go for partly open, partly closed version. This gives um, a, like a Scandinavian look to the car. Um, you will find this on yachting also, so there are rubber tubes which will take some hold for all the things which you will put there. Um, all the all the cupboards 
have soft clothes so you will see that the um, from the workmanship side everything is really on a higher level you will find here on the electrical components not only USB which is regular but you will also have the smaller one the USC plug which is quite irregular for um, for inner car setup here you will find cupboards also with hanging um, compartment and if you see if you have a look also here the workmanship everything is really at the higher end uh, all the component uh, components which we use are really well done coming here to the kitchen this is the only cupboard with a door and here we already worked a little bit so there are divider areas um, for your knife and forks and for the kitchen equipment using the we're going around the sink yeah. using the space exactly then in order to find all the things easily we went here um, for drawers and so even here at the lower end you easily find what you need when preparing your breakfast or your dinner one of the things we are really proud of Again, we've um, taken this component from the yachting. We went for uh, for pressure pump. So this is not the normal um, water pump which is hanging in the water tank. So this is really based on pressure. Um, that means when you operate this, there is really high pressure, like if you would find at home when you open your um, your water tap at home. And it's metal so it's from grower it's really it's in this nice scandinavian matte black and it's really metal and it's not plastic same you will find also here in the bathroom um, so in the bathroom side of course again um, the same things which you would normally find at home in your own bathroom on top of that we went here for a glass um, wash tap the whole cabin was designed um, to be able to take water so we um, purposely um, we designed away the normal which you normally find um, the hanging curtain the shower curtain the shower curtain normally everybody has got experience shower curtains they stick to your body and sometimes you don't like it too much well most of the time you may not like it too much so um, the design um, was done like this that there is no curtain in the bathroom in this car here we do have a pop-up roof um, and that's why there is a window here in the regular version without pop-up roof you would have here um, daylight in the in the top again here things for storage cupboards here again the the open version this is not for opening so you put your things in here in the second round we are not yet 100% happy with the position of the toilet roll there we will find another place but that is minor detail um, we are working in terms of uh, how to heat and what are we going to do with warm water we've decided to use um, like um, the diesel engine version so we don't operate uh, heating and uh, hot water preparation by gas we do it by the diesel tank so that gives you another push to be um, in an autark version so um, self sufficient yeah it will hardly happen that your diesel tank is empty so that gives you freedom um, as a result out of that on the um, cooking station we will carry like a 5 kg gas bottle in the back so that will save also some weight um, coming to the to the topic of weight this car um, as it is here now with the top up tent with a with a pop-up roof um, also with the solar power panel on top of the car um, the gross weight here is 3020 kilo and you are able to uh, go up to 3500 kg so there's still plenty of kg left for you and for your travel partners and for the luggage and for everything which you want to take with you all the furnitures are really um, at the higher end and really durable 
you will not find any cheap materials. What quite ha uh, often happens while camping, if you by accident, um, if your mobile phone or if your laptop um, falls down somewhere and kicks onto the table, you will, you will have a hole. And with, with this furniture here, it's really, um, it's quite small, but it's full body and um, it's really durable. Of course, all the windows have got the blindfold as well as mosquito protection. On the windows, we've decided to use Zeitz um, and it's the small frame from, from Zeitz. We will show you later from the outside of the car. And easy to open in whatever position. Um, the aluminium arms with this click clack function which you find on most of the campers um, we have taken away and we've gone for this with privacy glasses for this version. During the months of December into January, so over New Year, there was one of these cars was um, even up to polar region uh, and the guys were traveling under conditions with minus 23 degrees and they came back happy smiling. So there was no issue at all on the winter traveling, which proved again that our concept and the, the, the way of insulation, that that was the right choice and it really worked. You may have a, have a look on the, um, the pop-up. Um, there you will find extra space for two persons. Lengthwise you will have uh, 1 meter 90 and in the width you will have 135. Some nice features. We have integrated reading lights here, so when you're sitting in the evening on the movable captain chair, you will have reading light, uh, which you of course can turn off. And you can also adjust to your own mood. All the lights which we built in have got um, dimming function. And all the lights also can individually switch on and off. And the same goes, like I said, same goes if you have your lights here in the car. However you want it, switch it on or off, or keep your finger pressed and get to the right number of uh, looks or of, of light level, whatever you want. What else? We have got on the on the cockpit. You will find in uh, you will find in the middle. Um, it's a Navisiva function. Um, the Navi receiver is linked to um, how is it called? It's a rear camera. Yes. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's a double camera. Yeah. yeah. It's a double lens rear camera. So um, when parking the car, when you have to do some maneuvers, you are going to be supported by the camera. And instead of always having um, some navigation system, which is dated after some years, we've decided to give you the the plug support for um, the common systems like Android mobile phones or Apple mobile phones. So you can use then, what is it called? Apple CarPlay and the Android version of it. You can yeah. use your own data on the screen. One of the things which might be quite unnormal in these days with us, you can buy this car under the condition that when you place the order, we at the right now we are able to deliver like four months later so this makes it a little bit unique in the market how have we done this um, we as the company we decided to buy a certain number of cars so the chassis is done um, also the engine is done there's no choice for the customer to change to any other engine uh, there's no choice for the customer to change the, the outside color of the car as well as no choice to change like um, the furniture of the chairs, uh, the color, um, any other thing. All this is said and done. And we have always gone under the precondition, let's take the best and that should be okay. So um, all this is done. The customer has got some choices um, to uh, customize the car. Customization can be done, pop-up tent on top of the car, yes or no. Um, you have got the choice to go for um, 
the solar package, which also will give you, um, if you if you choose to go for solar and electricity package, um, there's also a converter, so you will have got 230V in the car even if you're not plugged to the um, to the outside cable on the on the camping mm -hmm. side. And the last option which we offer is the um, TV package. So that would be like the automatic antenna as well as a flat screen with, which is 180 degrees movable. Um, all this are the only options which we offer. And on the other hand, we'll give you the guarantee that after four months, the car will be in front of the door. Which is really fast in the current market. Exactly, exactly. Um, as you're just um, holding your hand to that side, I forgot to tell you the fridge we've done to the front side and the fridge is operatable from both ends so you can open from inside of the car as well as on second, yeah, as well as from the outside. In order to have sufficient space while preparing things, we have also integrated here another working space extension. And the same thing, I think, <laughs> we did here. So, here's another extension of your working space, which is like a little gimmick, um, but it also works and will easy up your life. The, in the seating area we do have the table which has got an extendable fold so either you can use it again for working for kitchen work or both of the captain seat users will have their own proper space when having breakfast or dinner or lunch well I'm not sure whether I've forgotten anything, but... It um, seems very complete to me. Yeah, but I hope you got a proper insight of what we here with Hannes Kemper can do for you. Thanks for coming. This is the first time ever that I have accepted any support for uh, promoting a product on YouTube. Now I've been do on YouTube now for 15 years and I've been doing the van life stuff for a number of years as well. Um, the reason I haven't accepted support in the past is because I, I felt it had to be something which I really agreed with and a product I knew so I had to feel a hundred percent about recommending it to others. This is Solbio and this is a toilet additive. Now what's the point of a toilet additive? Well when you use the toilet then it goes into a cassette and you have to dump the cassette somewhere. Now uh, if you just urinate into it then there should be no problem but if you put any solids into it, then it makes it a bit more difficult. Now, one thing you can do is if you have constant diarrhea, then you may not need a toilet additive because you should be able to dump it without any problems. For those of you who don't suffer from this problem, then uh, one thing you might want to consider doing, in fact, one thing you're going to have to consider doing is using a toilet additive. And there's two types. There's the blue stuff, which is manufactured by a number of companies and it works pretty well. No problems there whatsoever with the way it works. Oh, there's the green stuff, which is ecologically based. Now, up until now, the green stuff didn't work as well as the blue stuff. But I think with Solbio, uh, we're now seeing a comparative uh, working uh, rate. It works, just, it works just as well. So it's... Uh, ecological. What it's got inside 
are natural soaps, it's got natural citric acid, it's got uh, essential oils and plant extracts and that breaks down whatever it is that you're throwing into the toilet or, or releasing into the toilet I should say and when you come to a dump station you can just tip up your cassette and it all flows in nicely. Now you may say, well I have constant diarrhea and so therefore I don't need something like that. Well, uh, that, that may be the, the case, but one thing that this has got, it's got a rather pleasant fragrance to it as well. Now I personally like the, the, the fragrance of the blue stuff, but I know I'm in a small minority on that one. One thing I noticed uh, when I've been doing tests of really small vehicles, uh, such as you know five and a half meter ones above all, so as soon as you open the door, you have this um, uh, fragrance, let's say, of the blue stuff sort of sort of hits you. Now, uh, with this one here, Solbio, it's got a more natural sort of smell. It's it's a bit. Uh, like uh, eucalyptus. I'm trying to find a good way of actually describing it and the best thing I could think of it's got you know, these cough drops or these eucalyptus like sweets and it's got this type of fragrance within the uh, within the toilet anyway and uh, if you're in a small van I bet it fills up the it could fill up the small van I haven't really noticed it so sort of when I'm sitting here in this position for example but uh, maybe I'm not using enough of it to actually notice. Uh, um, next thing is, is it safe to use? Well, the thing with the blue stuff is there are um, good reasons to suggest that it may not be completely safe to use. I mean, it does break things down in a chemical manner. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to suggest it's um, dangerous or anything like that, but I don't think it is particularly good for the environment. Uh, if it comes into contact with uh, plants or things of this nature, I mean, there's even there's warnings that I mean, if you get it in a fish tank or something like, I don't know why you want to put it in a fish tank, but uh, if you put it in the fish tank, then the fish will die. So um, this, as it comes from natural things, you assume that it's okay. Now the blue stuff as well, I've noticed I always get it on my hands. And not only that, I mean, obviously, I sort of miss the toilet as well. But sorry, I get it in the toilet bowl. I don't miss the toilet. I miss the sort of the hole where you open up for the toilet. And it sort of stains. And it takes a few uh, flushes for it to actually go down. I don't know if that's bad or not. But um, it's uh, with this stuff, it's, uh, it's almost translucent. Not quite, but almost. As is when you dump it out, which seems a bit odd the first time, you think, hang on just a minute, I'm sure I didn't just urinate in there. Uh, but but that's the way, that's the way it is. Um, the, the manufacturers say it doesn't cause skin irritation. I have never experienced skin irritation from the blue stuff, but I have heard of people uh, uh, having this problem. And um, let's have another look at it, because here it comes in two. Uh, this one, one's for marine use and the other's for motorhome use. Now it could be that mariners use the toilet or they eat something a bit more dodgy or I don't know, but it's it's different. This contains 40 um, doses and it's dosed via this thing down here, this little tap. Now um, I know there are people who are suspect of these taps. Now I previously worked in the packaging industry and indeed I used to give uh, talks being an expert. I don't think I was much of an expert but, but, uh, but uh, I do know a little bit about it. This technology is perfectly safe I think to use. It's not, I mean it's often used in bag in the box applications and so you, know, you get wine or something the wines in a in a um, in a box and they've got this tap that sticks out and you and you use it in the company I used to work where we produced blueberry juice we use this technology and I've never known the taps to go wrong in my direct experience but when they first came out I agree there was problems with them I've heard of people saying they put something in the fridge or they, they uh, you know in the, in the van and something hit here 
in theory, you're supposed to knock both ends down at the, oh sorry, sorry, pull them both up and press down at the same time to get it to, to work. So I mean, I do accept that these things can go wrong, just as, I mean, if you don't close a bottle properly, everything will go out. But I make, I make that part. Other than that, the bag may seem a little uh, unsturdy because of the, the, the way it is, but I, I can tell it's made from um, recycled. Uh, it's green plastic. It's uh, and uh, I think it's I think it's quite safe. So uh, there are some observations on this, and uh, as far as I'm concerned, I, I really do think it's uh, it's it is a good solution for you. Now it costs roughly the same as the blue stuff. There isn't much difference. Now I do appreciate that. Um, in um, with if there was a price difference, that might be a problem. Although, I think if you're into motorhomes, then you probably like living in harmony with nature, which is what I'm in it for. Really, I think I think it's the call of nature, this contact with nature and all the rest of it. So I think that protecting nature is something that uh, I I would want to do, whether or not. I'm prepared to pay a premium. Yes, maybe I'm prepared to pay a little bit of a premium for it, but in all honesty, this between this one and the blue stuff, there's hardly any difference. Right, so uh, if you find that of interest, there will be a link below. It's not an affiliate link. It just tell you where to get the stuff from. Um, I'm not on any affiliate programs at all, deliberately, so nobody can accuse me of uh, uh, trying to promote something to get the affiliate uh, link. But I do absolutely believe in this product. So, thanks very much for watching. I am currently at a place called Alexa Camping, or Camping Alexa, in northern Poland. And you may have heard some of the noises on the outside from the campsite. But I shall tell you more about that in another video. So, there you go. This is about Solvio. Thanks for watching.